Hey guys, what's up? It's Joe Rady from Rady's Rides. I'm back here at Loki Kia in sunny Clearwater, Florida. And guess what? We have it. One of the best selling vehicles currently in the United States. This is the 2020 Kia Telluride. Can't say all new because guess what? It's the first year. 2020 is the first year of this incredible vehicle selling like hotcakes. But let's talk a little bit of history about Kia before we just jump into this Telluride. Kia has been around since the early 1990s selling cars here in the United States, that South Korean car company. Boy, oh boy, have things changed because this Telluride, this mid-size three-row SUV has turned the auto industry upside down, around, and then back again on the ground. The Telluride is selling so fast that within Kia, they call it the Telluride. Normally, most cars will sit on a dealership lot anywhere between 60 to 90 days before that vehicle is sold. This vehicle here, on average, six days. I've actually seen one sell within 30 minutes of it getting off the truck and being done with PDI. But one thing is for certain, this South Korean car company has designed this vehicle here in the United States, in California. It is built in Georgia and it is made for the roads and the people of the United States of America. And that makes it an extra special vehicle. So let's go ahead, dive into this midsize SUV and see why it's destroying the competition. Right off the bat, the style, that boxy style actually works and it's a great departure from all these round little bubbles going down the road. When we drop down, you'll see that you have your LED headlight, LED daytime running lamp, and LED turn signals. I like the way they kind of scatter the turn signals uh, like a bunch of killer bees. You come down, no fake vent, no fake stuck on things. You have a functional side air curtain on each side of the front fascia. I like the way they took the brushed aluminum, went around the outside, tasteful. Then we come across the grill, and the grill just makes this vehicle. Now, the Telluride badging, just like many other brands, I wish they would sink it into the hood. It's just kind of stuck on, so I am gonna zonk that, but other than that, the front end of the business, this grill makes it nice, wide, the tiger nose grill. It's got that pinched in center portion. They call this tiger nose, nice brushed aluminum look. The Kia badge, we come down open with some flat black. We drop down again, open with a nice horizontal flat black and a little bit of silver. It gives it that off-road rugged SUV look, eight inches of ground clearance. The great news is you can get these front wheel drive or like our example, you can get this with all wheel drive. Let's go up onto the hood. Onto the hood, very powerful, muscular body lines. I like the way they raise the center section here, and it's nice, prominent all the way through. The lines do not fade on this Telluride. We come around the bend, and if you're wondering, well, why they call it the Telluride? Here's a little fun fact. Telluride is actually the name of a town in Colorado, and back during westward expansion, it used to be hard to get to this area and when people say, hey, where are you going? They say, I'm going to hell you ride. And that's where that whole thing, to hell you ride. That's where you're going, tell you ride. That's what we have. I like the flat black, just a little bit, nothing too high. This metallic gray fits it to a T. Here's one of our wheel options. So this wheel is a 20 inch wheel, machined aluminum, some metallic gray. I think it looks tasteful. It's a clean design. If you go up another notch to the highest trim level, you get a little fancier wheel. Um, plus you could get it in that uh, SX, which is the top trim is SX, SX only uh, moss green. But I like the design of the wheel, very clean, works well. And it's 20 inch, 245 on the width, nice beefy 50 series sidewall. We continue down the side. Love the way they integrate the LED turn singles nicely. A Little bit of silver chrome trim. Never hurt anybody, it's definitely not hurting this Telluride. Flat black along the bottom goes really well with that eight inches of ground clearance. You have the brushed aluminum roof rails, a little bit of gloss black, and one of my favorite styling elements that you just don't see on a lot of vehicles is look how they took the trim, and instead of just running it straight across, they kind of made it curve up a little bit. Very, very smart. It, to some people, they say it doesn't look finished. To me, I say 
That's genius because it makes it stand out and I love it. We keep working our way back. A little bit of gloss black make this sort of look like one big massive side window. They flared out the trim very nicely. And then when we get to the back of this EX, this is an EX trim. I chose this one specifically because it's, it's a little sort of to high middle. It's not fully loaded, but it's not a base. So you're gonna get a nice mixture. It's got the all wheel drive. You can tell by the badge. Tell you ride, I don't mind the name just being a bunch of stick on emblems in the back. Nice low roof spoiler. We drop down, you got your full towing capability. See, see how many hand, uh, fingers I'm holding up? Five, 5,000 pounds with the all wheel drive. And I do like the tasteful exhaust. My only zonk is I wish they would have doubled it. Give me two there, give me two there, at least on the EX and up trims or the all wheel drive trims. I, I just think that would make it even look a little bit more muscular, but still one heck of a job. Let's pop the hood and see what's powering this Telluride. All right, guys, we got the hood popped. You do have hood struts, engine. The good news is, and it stops with a bunch of confusion, is there's just one engine and one engine only. You're looking at that 3.8 liter V6, 291 horsepower, 261 pound-feet of torque. It's all made it through an eight-speed automatic transmission. Going through the all-wheel drive, you can have a locking diff in this all wheel drive setup, zero to 60, seven seconds. And like I said, weighing in, you go all wheel drive, you're weighing in 4,354 pounds. But really nice to see the engine compartment, tasteful engine cover. The engine is nice and low in the chassis. That's gonna help with stability. But why don't we go ahead, let's get to the interior because if you're ready to get your mind blown, I'm ready to do it to you. Let's check out that interior. All right, guys, we're inside the 2020 Kia Telluride. Somebody had just called me. Actually, I think my phone's ringing again. Hello? Okay. So I guess I didn't tell you MPGs. MPGs, 19 in the city, 24 on the highway. And I know you're probably asking, well, Joe, this isn't fully loaded, but it's still high up on that food chain. How much is this? MSRP is right around $43,000. Now, before you jump out of your seat and you're saying to yourself, no way am I ever gonna pay $43,000 for a Kia, let's just explain that this actually has, even though this isn't fully loaded, has more options than other competitors that are fully loaded. And when I say fully loaded, we're talking about $60,000 fully loaded. So let's see what you get for $43,000. To the door panel. Love the soft material. The wood grain trim is to die for. The stitch work on the armrest. Love the speaker cover, especially the way it's got the silver around the speaker cover and it says tell you ride down there. And you're gonna have a nice size pocket for a meatball sub from Subway as you're going down your favorite country road in your Telluride. The dash, very far forward, nice and flat. I love the stitch work. Look at this wood, beautiful, silver. Glove box, felt line. So if you need somewhere to hide your grandmother's china teapot, put it in there. It's not going to get scratched. This is wonderfulness. So you have, yes, it's an iPad style, but it's mounted very, very low. It's a 10.25 inch screen. You could put up three screens or you want one, bam, there you go. Clean, the silver trim, the wood. You got a nice bright silver start stop button, a little bit of more silver trim. And then you're going to have your, a, your um, AC controls, dual climate, of course, heated steering wheel. Look, ventilated seats, heated st seats. Look at the stitch work, your passenger, and you get a nice oh crap handle as you're driving down the road. Key fob. Let me make sure I get the right one here because we got a few different key fobs. I'll hide those. Those don't exist. Here is your beautiful Kia key fob. Obviously, this gets pulled off like that and it says Kia. You got a nice button, silver, beautiful touch. Nice to hold. Little tiny container here for breath mints, two cup holders. This is your mode selector knob. So you got comfort, sport, smart, eco, and snow. And like I said, you could lock that center diff, boom, for your all wheel drive system. This is controlling your eight speed automatic transmission, like the leather, the stitch work. Watch this, open up door number one. Hold on one second, we're gonna open it. One way, there we go, we got it. Wireless charging, 12 volts, and two USBs. 
They got you covered in your Telluride. Let's see if I can close it. There we go. Easier to close. Like the silver. It's a little bit of gloss black, but nothing too atrocious. Semi-soft on the armrest with the stitch work. We lift this up and look at this. Fill that up with Skittles. I mean, you could get 12 cavities by the time you're done with your trip. And you could probably put a box of Twinkies in there, no problem. Let me show you the backup camera though before we go any further. Put it into reverse. You have your uh, trajectory, which is really nice. And then of course you have your 360 uh, sensors around the Telluride. It's not the clearest, but I've seen worse. Seats, love them. Perforated, the leather is wonderful, it's soft. You got ventilated and heated, and you have power assist for both the passenger and the driver. And you have a standard size sunroof in here, which is a welcome addition. My only other zonk is gonna be that thing right there. It does not have a frameless auto dimming mirror. It's got the thicker frame around it, but hey, like I said before, I've seen worse, especially, especially in more expensive vehicles. But why don't you come over to the business end? I wanna show you behind the wheel of the Telluride. All right, guys, welcome to the Telluride on the business end. You got your seat controls down here. Nice lower lumbar steering wheel, beautiful. Simulated stitching on the horn. Horn button looks very tasteful. Silver, I like the, the nice flat silver buttons. A little bit of gloss black. Thickness is on point. And then when you come on in, what are you uh, given? You're given an analog tack, speedometer, fuel gauge, and coolant gauge. And then you have that display in the center, which you could toggle through a, different, a bunch of different information. I am gonna zonk it. I wish it was a little bit larger and I wish it was full color, even at this price point, $43,000. Now I know if you go up to SX, you get something different, but I would like to see uh, the special colors and whatnot in that digital display. But why don't we check out the back seat, excuse me, the mid row and see how your passenger is gonna be loving this Telluride. All right, guys, mid-road time in the Telluride. Plenty of room back here. And what's wonderful is that the seats slide very easily. And of course, they're also gonna recline as well. Just gotta find the handle. But they really recline super well. Now, what's nice is you have a little command center here, but before we get to that, there is plastic on the back. And I know for parents, that's gonna be great. This is smart. If you're wondering what's this for, think about it. You have your USBs smartly placed on the backs of the seats for your mid-row passengers. They could take their phone, hang the cord around here, and then put the phone in the pocket. So I think that's smart engineering there, or put it here. So you actually have a pocket within a pocket within a pocket. Makes sense. Two cup holders, you got a 12 volt down below, the USBs, you have your AC controls, easy to get to, right in the ceiling with your uh, vents. The seat is great. Only problem is, what is that? Is this a toothpick or an armrest? I think they want us to think it's an armrest. I wish it was a little thicker. And I'll pull this one down. So you have two captain's chairs. Just wish the armrests were a little bit thicker. But why don't we go ahead, let's get into that back row, the third row, and see how usable it is for a six foot Joe Rady. All right guys, third row time. It's real simple. They have a button right there. Moves nicely out of the way. You get a nice piece of real estate to put your feet. We're gonna go ahead and climb on in. I'm gonna go all the way over just to prove a point that you can see my knees are still not touching the back of the seat. And I actually could slide that seat forward. The seats back here, you know, they're actually not too bad. You can recline them a little bit more. But the nice thing is you get USBs on both sides, two cup holders on both sides, and it's really nice soft leather material. But it'd be even nice to even put it back even further. And unlike some other manufacturers, you do have AC vents for the third row. Not all of them do. So that's a very nice touch. But I like the way they have the brighter uh, headliner in here. It kind of just makes it a little bit more airy. And like I said, I don't feel squished at all. And I could ride like this for quite some time. But when we get to that cargo area, I'll show you how easy it is to maximize your space. All right, guys, time to get into the back cargo area on the EX trim. You're gonna get a nice electric assist. Comes up nicely and you can actually adjust how high that hatch goes. Now with the seats up, if you want some hard numbers, you're basically looking at 21 cubic feet of space with the seat up, seats up. You put all the rows down, you're looking at almost 90 cubic feet of space. Well organized. First of all, before we put the seats down, let me just show you that you do have a 12 volt, perfect for, uh, you know, 
if you're tailgating or going camping or whatever, you have nice usable storage. Think about this. Could you imagine if this was all filled with Twinkies? That's some people's dream. Put that down and then watch how easy the seats are. They use the strap system. One, two, three. One, two, three. What I love about that is that it's easy to make it go back up. So you don't have to worry about buttons and motors and switches. So very nicely done. And then they put the other ones down, they actually have buttons and it's just a, like that. Now this other one, I know I'm gonna have to adjust the, he the headrest here just to prove a point, but I'm gonna go ahead and push that button. Voila, look at that. Go to Home Depot, put an air mattress back there. Say you get kicked out, you can sleep in the back of your Telluride, but if you're ready, I'm ready. Let's take this Telluride for a spin. All right guys, we're leaving Loki Kia, Clearwater, Florida. We're in the Telluride. Right away, I love the view in here. Looking out across that massive hood, the windshield is nice and wide and the eight pillars are super small. That 10.25 inch screen is a thing of beauty. It really is a great size, no glare. Of course, you're gonna get all the safety features, lane keep assist, emergency braking, all that good stuff that's gonna help you arrive alive every single time. I have it in sport mode just to change the parameters of the transmission and the engine and whatnot to give me a little bit uh, quicker acceleration. But holding the steering wheel feels really good. It's got a nice weight to it. It's not floaty. And in this SUV, you're not bobbing around. So uh, the way they have the suspension tuned is very well done. But let's go ahead on throttle, drops down, that V6 pulls smooth, naturally aspirated, so you're not waiting for any turbo boost or anything like that. And it's just really simple. It's a nice, simple layout, and that's all it needs to be. All-wheel drive, transferring that power around, gonna keep you planted to the asphalt. And everywhere you touch, I'm telling you right now, if I blindfolded you while you were driving, first of all, I'd like to see that because uh, i like to see how far you can make it down the road blindfolded. But if you were blindfolded and you were my passenger, I'm telling you right now, you would think that you're in a vehicle that's twice the cost of what this is MSRP'd at. That's what's so amazing about this Telluride. Even the great news is, is that your passengers, mid row and third row, are gonna enjoy this Telluride as much as you do being up front. But pulling away on throttle, super smooth, nice shifts, no drama. And that's what you want. You don't want drama while you're driving this. I'm gonna go ahead, put it into comfort, that's gonna adjust the parameters of that transmission shifting and whatnot. But uh, seats are great. Getting everything, getting to everything is perfect. I like the way they, where they mounted the ventilated seats and heated seats. I sometimes feel like depending on the car, you kind of have to search for it. It's like playing hide and go seek. Um, but in the Telluride, it just makes sense. And you got all the connectivity, the wireless charging, all that good stuff to keep your devices ready to rock and roll at any given notice. Looking out the back window, just like the front, nice and large, super comfy. It, it, it's amazing what this brand has done to the industry, and it really makes you say, hey, I get it. I get why they call this the Celluride. It's that good of a SUV. All right, guys, I have it, like I said, switched over to comfort now. The wonderful thing is as you're driving, the cabin is super duper quiet in here. And that is such a nice welcome to have that at this price point. You don't have to go spend $100,000 on an SUV to get a little peace and quiet. Everything feels great where everything is placed, makes sense. Getting onto the highway here, on throttle, you get up to speed just fast enough. And remember, with the all-wheel drive, you're able to tow up to 5,000 pounds. Navigation works great. Uh, it really is a pleasure to get behind the wheel of one of these Tellurides and you just get it. You just get why people are loving them so much. And it looks good too. You leave the parking lot, you're gonna wanna look back at your Telluride, not to see if somebody's stealing it, but uh, because you wanna look at it. And that's how you know you made the right choice. Biggest zonk is gonna be the digital display in between the gauges, but that's something that I can overlook with everything else that you're getting in here. But hopefully this gives you a nice overall feel of what the Telluride's all about. We're going to wrap this one up and get back to Loki Kia. So I'll see you in a split second. All right, guys, it's been another wonderful day 
here at Loki Kia. Definitely got to thank Robert and Danny getting us, us access to these 2020 Tellurides. They sell so fast, it's really hard to nail one of these down. But I'll be honest with you, this is my go-to. If I was looking for a mid-size SUV, whether it was three row or not, I'd be going Telluride. I'd just leave that third row down and I don't even need all that room, but it's such a good looking vehicle and it's a nice vehicle to drive and the amenities are wonderful. So I would call this SUV of the decade for sure. But if these are the types of vehicles that you like to see on Raise Rides, leave a comment in the comment section. If you're new and you're on your way out, hit the subscribe button. I promise you it's worthwhile coming back for more. If you are a subscriber, thank you for being part of the Raise Rides family. If you want to help us keep making great content just for you on the channel, click the link in the description. Get yourself some Radies Rides merch. Got to give it up to Big Guns McGee. He loves Tell Your Rides like kids love pizza and peanut butter and jelly. So thank you, Tom, for your hard work. And just like always, guys, I'll see you on the next ride.